All right. Switch this out to that. Nice. I'll have some mods that I can put into it. Um, I, which one was it? I think it was an accessory. Yes. Gives me a little bit more stability, I suppose. Um, and then there was nothing else that I needed. Um, I already got a lot of gadgets ready. Oh, I could do a fifth gadget now? Sweet. So that means I can get a ton of radio mimics? Hmm, I think I will. I'm gonna have to buy a couple more. Right here. There we go. Now I've got radio mimics coming out my ass. It's awesome. I'll never run out of those now. Is this a book collection or yeah, it's books. Where that glass eye came from. It, it, it's gotta be from that guy that I killed and took his golden rifle. Contact Surkov at Moscow office. Meet with Sergei Surkov at his office to see what he knows about the Halbeck presence in Moscow. Sounds good to me. Hey there. Mr. Thornton, I'm glad you were able to make it. I have the information you requested. Glad to hear it, Mr. Surkov. Sergei, please. With that outfit you're wearing, I almost didn't see you come in. <laughs> Are you planning to sneak out of here once you speak to me? I thought I'd wait until your back is turned, then hide against the wall. <laughs> Understood. Mr. Thornton. Michael. As I said, I was able to track down the information you requested. After reading your dossier, however, I had a proposal for you. I'm in a hurry. Send the intel to my PDA and let's leave it at that. Very well. I will have the information sent to you. And thank you again for saving my life, Michael. Whoa there, big guy. Didn't see you there. You been there the whole time? My apologies. Champion Chick is here to see me, Mr. Thornton. If you are going after Braco, then I am in need of protection while you're away. Nothing better than a walking wall, I guess. That medal for real? Champion Chick won it in the Olympics. Boxing, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Yeah, I won some too. In shooting and martial arts. Have fun, you two. <laughs> cool. So you and Surkov met at the embassy during the attack. Uh, I could have timed sure. it better had I known the VCI was planning to assault the place. But you survived. Even if many of the Marines stationed at the embassy did not. An unfortunate coincidence. Who knew those mercenaries would choose that moment to attack? Yeah. I was only after Surkov. I didn't mean for anyone else to get in the way. Now don't be down on yourself. No one knew the embassy was going to be attacked, did they? Someone did. Well, I hear most of the Marines died doing their duty, and the VCI suffered some casualties, I imagine, <laughs> but probably not much. But you, you handled yourself exceptionally well. You must have had help. You're truly a skilled agent, Mr. Thornton, but one man against several highly trained squads? No. The odds aren't that good. Sometimes the best method is to send a man in alone. Good help is hard to find, and it usually slows me down anyway. <laughs> Something wrong? No. But remind me not to play poker with you. <laughs> well, if it hadn't been for that attack in Moscow, I doubt if anyone would have known you were in the city. You certainly kept a low profile. I'm not in broadcasting or marketing, so that shouldn't surprise you. I don't know. Seems you still make an impression on the fairer sex, no matter what the age difference is. What are you talking about? Z. In mercenary hmm. circles, she's something of an 
old reliable. Is that why she's on your payroll? Ah, so you backtracked that, did you? Very good. But back to the reason you were at the embassy. Surkov. Yeah, I sort of expected more from ex-KGB when I met him. But maybe that's part of his charm. So you know about his past? Yep, him going legit, starting his corporation. Sorry, corporations. Trying to bring capitalism to Russia, the whole bit. I see. You didn't seem to have much trouble getting information out of Surkov. I imagine you two had a cordial talk while the bullets were flying. He cooperated. I think he appreciated the fact I acted like a professional. I don't know if he fully trusted me then, but... But he did tell you who had the Helbeck missiles. And he gave you a name. Yes. Constantine Braco. Ah, Braco. What is it about the younger generation? At least Surkov was a businessman. They pretend to obey the law. <laughs> but Constantine, now there's a story I'd like to hear. Up-and-coming Russian mobster meets rogue American agent. What could the two of you possibly talk about? I guess we'll find out. Our video killed the radio star. Alright. New email. Sweet. What do we got going? We had a new recruit join the agency today. We put him through the hazing ritual and he handled the guards in gunfire with nerves of steel. Except for, well, when he finally came into the weapons range, I could smell something a little fierce. Turns out, he crapped himself during the exercise. On the one hand, he was drugged, terrified, and disoriented, and shot himself. On the other hand, he was such a pro that he didn't let a jockstrap full of waste get between him and an ace performance. I guess we're still trying to figure out what to do with him. So, as for the important question, miss me, Mina. We've got the funny. Of course, I need someone to watch me shoot targets and tell me what a huge stud I am for only rarely soiling myself. Wait, are you trying to flirt with me, Miss Tang? I'm a busy man. I have a world to save. Dismissive. I only miss the Mina Tang that sends me valuable intel instead of flirting with me. Uh, that's kind of jerky. Do I miss you in the sense that I wish I were back in the gray box? No. Do I miss you in the sense... Er, <laughs> yeah, that we need to cut through the small talk and resolve the matter of our sexual tension? Yes. Min Thornton. Ah, I'm going with that one. I don't think I can make her like me anymore. Probably because she likes me too much. Let's see... We have a dossier on Branko, dossier on the Russian mob, and a mission map. Well, I can buy all these. That's cool. Yeah, that's all I want. Lovely. Let's go see what this new sneaky outfit can do for me. Gregory sold you dossier on Konstantin Barenko. You purchased a dossier on the Russian Mafia, your opposition in this mission. You have tracked down the mob boss, Konstantin Barenko, to a heavily fortified mansion outside of Moscow. Infiltrate the mansion, reach Branko, and find out what he knows about Halbeck and the missiles. This should be interesting. Contact visual. 
Did I just hear a G22 so agent? To Braco, you can either sneak in or hit the front gate guns blazing. Whichever you choose, I suggest you not go in alone. Already got both options covered, and I've got company. What do you mean? Where are you? Inside Draco's compound. Albatross was nice enough to leave an opening for me. Nice. Hi there. Is that... Oh my. A sniper rifle. Yes. How lovely. Let's see what we got going on down here. Guard there, guard there, guard walking around there. Hmm. Let's see here. Where is that other guy? Well, he's gonna get seen. Let's wait just a moment. Is there any other one around here? Ah, hi there. Oh, come on, I got him. Now I got him. Sweet. Oh, sniper rifle. You're so fun to use. Alright. Let's see here. Not that. Mm, this one. 